Welcome to the video. In this one, I'm going to show you how to add advanced custom fields to your posts and how to add in extra new post types so that you can create dynamic content that you can't usually do inside of Elementor, which is great if you're building any type of listing website or membership website. So the first thing that we want to do is a little bit of organization. It can be quite confusing if you're doing everything under posts, especially if you are making something like a real estate website or you know a car sales website, anything like that, you want to have other options. So for example, here you can see I've added real estate. So to get these sorts of options, come over to plugins and add new. And then we want to search for custom post. And the best one to install is this custom post type UI. So I've got it installed, but just install it and activate it. When you do that, you're going to have this down here. So come on over and then go to add or edit post types. Now there's lots and lots of information here. However, you don't actually have to input this. If you want to create things like extra categories and taxonomies, you can do. But all that's actually important is this bit just up here, this top box. So you want to give it a slug. Uh, the slug is the part of your URL that comes after your website. So for example, up here, WP admin, that is the main part of the slug, okay? So don't use one that already exists. You can see that I used real estate for this one over here. However, it's what you put in down here is the label that is actually gonna appear over here on the left. So give it a label and when you do that, click on add post type and that is gonna create it up here. So if we go in, we see that we've already got one that I've created. Very simple, little dummy post. So we've got a title, we've got a description, and we've got a featured image just down here on the right. But there's nothing else. There's no other places that we can add information here. So to do that, we need one more plugin. Again, it's a free one. So come on over to plugins and add new. And this time we are looking for advanced custom fields. Okay, and again, it's this one here. The free plugin's absolutely fine, so simply install and activate this one as well. And that is gonna now give you this down here, custom fields. So let's go in and let's add a group. We can give this a overall title, so I'll call this one Properties, seeing as it's to do with real estate. Again, you've got different advanced rules that you can look at, but we're gonna keep this nice and simple. We can make it work simply by adding in a field. So this one's gonna be Bedrooms. That automatically fills in this next bit for us. You can choose what type of field type this is. So for example, if you were having one where people were gonna input emails or upload things, you can do that, but I'm gonna keep it as text. You can add instructions to people. So if you've got staff for when they're uploading things or if you're running a membership website uh, for customers so they know what to do, you can put that in here, but we will leave it blank. And then all we need to do is click on add field. And now we're gonna have bathrooms. And we'll do one more, which will be price. And again, we could have a look through. Currency is an option on here somewhere. I'll just leave it as text for the moment. And then we're done. So now we can just come up and click publish. So we've got our three extra fields that we've added in here. So now when I come back over to real estate, come on in to this one. And now you'll see that we have these extra three fields which have appeared here. So we didn't have those before. So I can now say this has three bedrooms, two bathrooms, and it is 300,000. I'll put in dollars, um, but if you do choose the currency option, then it can pre-fill that for you. Then we update that. So it's that simple. Now you have custom post types, and you know how to add additional custom fields to those post types. And using that information, you can create things like this, where we have a beautiful layout, and you can pull that information through dynamically via a custom loop. Now, if you'd like to see how to do that, how to actually create something that looks like this, and how to pull that information through in a custom loop, check out my other video. The link is in the description below. Again, it's another nice quick one, and it shows you exactly how to do it. For now, though, thank you for watching. Please make sure to like this, share it with anyone you know will find it useful, and of course, subscribe. I'm Jack with Jack in the Net. See you on the next one.